Google Vice. Ah. Before digital photography, that would have taken me a week to paint. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 science breakthroughs that destroyed entire industries. I have a parking brake over here. Where's the gas pedal? There is no gas pedal. Okay. For this list, we'll be looking at how advancements in technology and science either ended or vastly reduced the use of certain products and services once highly popular. In the entries, the new advance is first, and what it replaced is listed below. Do you know anyone whose job has become obsolete? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Refrigerant. Ice making and ice cutting. Upon walking into almost any kitchen, there's one appliance that you're sure to spot. The refrigerator. Today, we plug them in and magically they keep everything cold. But at one time, the only way to keep the temperature of food and drink down was with good old-fashioned ice. The entire ice industry thrived around the production, collection, and even cutting of ice, and existed long before electric cold storage. Why is it so big? So it doesn't melt. Oh. With the invention of Freon, the need for a big old block of ice fell to the wayside, leaving many an ice worker looking for a new gig. Number 9. Digital Storage – Punch Cards Ever wonder where the saying, punch a clock, comes from? I just, you know, I thought since you were late. Excuse me, I didn't realize we were punching a clock. It originates from a time when employees would place a small piece of cardstock paper into a machine when they started and ended their shifts. You were two minutes late, Nick. Morning. And I didn't think I had to punch a clock with you. Punch cards went far beyond keeping the time, however. For more than 200 years, they were used in a variety of ways to both store information and provide instructions to mechanical devices. IBM even became a leader in punch card tech. But with the introduction of magnetic storage, which eventually gave us the floppy disk, the old punch card world ceased to exist. Hopefully they recycled all of those old cards. I left my uh, helicopter sounds on another disk. I'll be right back. Number 8. Plumbing. Water transportation. In this day and age, it's fairly easy to overlook the convenience of having water in your homes. Whether it's to wash our clothes or dishes, fill our bathtubs, or even flush the toilet, running water is something of a given. You left the water running, didn't you? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why do you do that? I told you not to do it. Harry, it's our calling card. Yet, for many years, people transported water by hand for many of these same reasons. Even those who lived near a river or other fresh water would still have to find manual means to get the water to the people. So the next time you fill your glass with water from a tap, count yourself lucky. Water flows downhill. Using this as their guide, engineers built a system that worked so well, today's cities still follow their basic design. Number 7. Digital Printing – Linotyping the act of typesetting used to refer to the act of taking actual metal characters and lining them up in reverse so they could be stamped with ink and then transferring the text to a printed medium. Linotype was one of the most popular forms of typesetting and was employed in newspapers, magazines, and posters. Mr. Simpson married the Duke of Windsor. It'll be in the papers tomorrow. How do you know that? Papers aren't even out yet. Oh, I work in the Linotype room um, two nights a week. Operators would use rudimentary keyboards to produce the sets of characters, called matrices, which would then be used to produce the print. With the introduction of photo and digital typesetting and printing, the companies who produced the linotype and similar machines had to move on with the times. Number 6. Digital Photography – Film Development and Film Creation For more than a century, film was used as the primary means by which to capture a photograph, as well as movies. The images were acquired through a combination of the special material on the film and exposure to light. It would then be developed in a dark room to produce the final version. Digital photography took a while to come up to par, but when it did, analog stock took a serious hit. All of the major players in the photographic film space took a downward turn when digital took over. What are you taking pictures, Phil? Are you kidding? This is a Kodak moment. Even longtime vendor Kodak saw their 100 plus year business have to strategically change to meet with the times. Number 5. Telephone Telegraphy. Ever heard of Morse code? The famous dots and dashes signaling system was heavily adopted by telegraph operators back in 1865. Telegraphy itself had been around much longer and served as a means of transmitting a message from one location to another using codes that the receiver could interpret. There's no time! The train's coming in towards Pier 6. I've got a warning. Often used by industry or the military, it really took off when the price of sending a telegram became affordable. 
However, once telephones and eventually the internet came into existence, the need for telegrams faded. Your uh, telegram didn't indicate how long you'd be staying with us. As long as it takes. This also included Morse code, which, although rarely needed today, is still actively used by amateur radio operators and some forms of the military. Number four, electricity, gas and fire-based lighting. When was the last time you looked outside and saw someone lighting up your local street lamps as the sun went down? As long as humankind has known about fire, we've been using it to provide some form of artificial light. It started with torches, but as various forms of combustible gas were discovered, illumination started coming in the form of lamps. And you wind it up. We can set the times twice a day, and we change them timings to sunrise and sunset. Whether it was to read and write in the dark or drive a horse down the street, gas lighting was everywhere. With the introduction of electricity and the incandescent light bulb, almost all of that industry flickered out. Kerosene or similar based lamps are used for outdoor enthusiasts, but much of that is now done by LED lights. Number three, modern medicine, leech collecting. Let's face it, take a look back in the history books and you'll find all kinds of questionable things that passed for medicine. In fact, did you know that there was a study known as phrenology that diagnosed conditions based on the mere shape of your head? At one time, there was even an entire industry around the collection and selling of leeches. These worms have a natural ability to extract blood from the creature they latch onto. There is something on your neck. It's a leech. Leeches! Oh my God! Given how bloodletting was quite common at the time, leeches were an easy way to accomplish it. Thankfully, these methods and the careers that went with them died with modern medicine. Number two, the transistor, semiconductors, human computing. Ever met someone who has an uncanny ability to do ridiculous amounts of math? Had they lived in the pre-computer era, they might have had quite a successful career. Long before the modern technology era, human computers were just that, people used to compute an answer. Large groups of individuals would often be given highly complex and tedious calculations to solve for various purposes. Many would operate in tandem to verify each other's work. By the 19th century, women were often employed and even in demand for such work. But as transistors and other semiconductors became more readily available, machines quickly supplanted their creators in being able to calculate the fastest. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number one, internal combustion engine, the carriage industry. There's no denying it, once cars became the norm, anything and everything having to do with the horse-drawn carriage almost dropped off the planet. For centuries, people had used horses and other animals as a means of traveling across distances. Various forms of carriages were attached to the animals to allow for the transport of additional passengers and cargo. So when the internal combustion engine was invented, followed by Ford's release of the Model T, a tidal shift came to the world. Sure, people still ride horses and carriages for fun, but the mass production of such equipment and its use fizzled greatly with this invention. <laughs> You there, fill it up with petroleum distillate. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.